are an embodied reflection of Source. You are thus infinitely empowered, abundant, and a co-creator with your context always. You are an alchemist. Divination works because the web of life is intelligently organized with coordinated and storied agency. Let's take a look at the stories playing out now. Hi everyone, welcome to October 2016. There's a lot going on, much growth and evolution, many people are awakening now. Let's take a look at nature's unfolding cycle. And to do that, we look at the new moon point, which is a natural new seeding point. September 30th, 2016, we're going to have our second new moon of the calendar month. And that's considered what's called a black moon. You can see from this particular image that we're looking at, there's a full moon in the background. But this image was too uh, appropriate and adorable for what I wanted to use it for to not use it. But we're talking about the new moon, which is um, when the sun and moon are conjunct. And it's going to be happening at the exact point. The narrative starts on the 30th of September at 5.11 p.m. Pacific time. The Sabian symbol, the story, the narrative that is underpinning the energy set of this 8 degree 15 minute Libra new moon is three old masters hanging on the wall of a special room in an art gallery. The keynote from Dane Rudyard is... The need to return to source during a confused search for new value in a chaotic society. Now we can feel into a couple of things. One is just paying attention to what the symbol is showing you in your mind's eye. Three old masters, old masters paintings hanging on the wall of a special room in an art gallery. This has to do with mastery. This has to do with tradition. This has to do with um, creative endeavors. And it is the number three. Three is creation, it is communication, and it's also community. And of course, Libra is um, all about justice, equanimity. It's about harmony and peace in relationships. And indeed, there's much activated on the global stage with regards to um, the duality of the human nature is really coming to the fore. And so, indeed, the keynote of the need to return to source during a confused search for a new value in a chaotic society could not be more appropriate for the now. Aries, so let's take a look at what is coming up for your specific demographic. I pulled the I Ching for the Aries microcycle over the course of October 2016. What is it that's underpinning your cycle? What's happening? You receive two I Ching hexagrams. The first one, number 37, extended family, and it came with changing lines. The hexagram came with changing lines, and it became number 53, a steady pace. Extended family talks about partnership. It talks about marital union. It talks about spouse and it talks about family. Okay. But it, it definitely talks about the masculine and the feminine being in a union. Okay. And for you, that message came connected to number 53, a steady pace. A steady pace talks about, um, little, little progressions continually moving forward brings benefit, brings change, brings success. So there's no great change happening now in the cycle, but there's movement progressing toward a final outcome. And what I get for you, Aries, is that underpinning October, there is a sense of moving toward spouse, moving toward the family, whatever family means to you, because it means different things to different people, but that this month you are going to be inherently moving toward whatever family unit you would like to create for yourself. Now let's take a look at the spread, because in the middle of the reading, you can see three cards in the center portion there. Man is coming up in the middle, 
underneath that unusual, underneath that path. So the center um, focus for you over the course of this cycle is in fact about a partner. Now, a lot of my demographic, most of my demographic watching are women, many of them straight, not all of them, and some men watch me as well. But keep in mind, we're talking about what looks to be a romantic partner here, okay? So man, this is a general reading, man could be woman for some of you, okay? Man, unusual path. Now, this is either talking about you're wanting a very distinct, different, unique individual that is going to fit your particular vibe, your energy, your mindset, your heart set, which would certainly make sense. But you want this person to meet you on your path and your path could be one that is not the typical path. So what I'm kind of getting with this, the center message is that you are looking for a man or a partner that is meeting you or can meet you energetically on an unusual path. It would be a unique path of togetherness, okay? Now, if we look over at the right side, you can see the Meditate card and Romantic Love. And what that's saying is that you are going to be considering, you are going to be contemplating, you are going to be meditating upon love, how it exists or doesn't exist currently in your life. So you're going to be thinking about it. And then if we go over to the other side, uh, to the far left side, you can see the Remember card which I have horizontally placed there. Underneath that, comfort, support, investigate. And what this is saying is that over the course of this month, emotionally, you're going to be thinking back upon maybe past love affairs, past loves, past spouses even, for some of you, where you have felt comfortable, safe, secure, supported. And you're going to be feeling curious about that. That's what the investigative uh, card is talking about there. Investigate. It's saying that you're going to be feeling curious and you're going to be remembering past good relationships. And indeed, if we look up at the very top of the spread, the yes card is coming up. Yes in the mental sector. This is your thoughts and your thinking. This is very good Aries because it means that, at least for a good portion of you, this is a general reading, you're going to be um, orienting your mind toward more positive um, thoughts. And this isn't uh, affirmations denying reality. It's like you're going to be seen through a fresh pair of eyes. And I'm getting that for a lot of signs so far this month. Um, there's there's some good shifts happening in people's psyches uh, for a good portion of people, let's say, for a good portion of people waking up, let's say. Um, there's also another demographic where there's a lot of cycling down in another direction. But for certainly those that watch my videos, um, there's an awakening happening that's allowing a holistic perspective that is in fact your higher self's perspective. And I'm getting that indeed you do have this broader, holistic, higher frequency perspective that is inherently optimistic. And so you are going to be thinking positively. Now, the interesting thing is if we go down to the bottom of your reading, we can see that the release card is there, which is about letting things go, process and writing. Okay, now writing could actually mean physical writing, but it could definitely be, and what I get for you in this reading is that it probably means expression. So in the physical reality of this month, there's something about releasing the process or the pattern of how you have typically expressed yourself with regards to love. And I don't know if this is talking about you um, letting go, you know, your own ideas about love. I'm really not sure. This bottom section is fascinating for me. Uh, because for me, it could be that you are releasing things that weren't, that were tying you down, let's say, to a certain life path 
that was unsatisfactory and that you're in you're going through a process of expression of starting to communicate your love for somebody or your needs and desires or just expressing yourself just in a general way so it could very well be that this bottom section is saying two kind of separate things in a way that you're releasing what is no longer serving because again your mind is in a very positive state and then simultaneously you're working on the process your own expression who you are as a being and how you do that with lover with the spouse with the partner with the love interest you know so maybe you're releasing what's no longer serving and at the si at simultaneously at the same time you're working on your process of expression of self okay now let's move on to your dakini so the dakini that came up for you was number 33 in flammy now taurus also received in flammy so if you are an aries that also has some key elements of your natal chart in taurus you definitely want to heed this message number 33 in flammy is about becoming fire the guidance for you over the course of the cycle is to become fire activate your inner vitality your inner juice your inner creative life force activate your passions um, that which excites you it's about tapping into what excites you okay and for you especially with the love theme the extended family theme the partnership theme um, really tapping into what the person or the personality type, the characteristic of soul that would bring you comfort and support. That is really what you're seeking. And becoming fire is talking about letting yourself feel the fire at your loins, at the depths of yourself. Become, and fan the flame as I said to Taurus fan the flame so whatever does excite you follow that bliss point that's what you want to do I mean when we follow our bliss it is the alignment to our higher self so follow the bliss ignite the fire that lives within you it might have been numbed out a lot of people are very very numbed out because of a variety of reasons but for you the guidance this month is to activate that fire find it again become curious that's the other thing your reading had the investigate card in the emotional sector which is all about instigating curiosity becoming curious do investigate do uh have the eyes of a child fresh eyes you know have eyes that are anew and that's that positive mindset that you're inherently going to be accessing this month so Aries it's it does look like a very interesting month where partnership is the main theme for you I'm wishing you a beautiful month ahead and I'll talk to you again soon bye